growth mindsets give us an indication, gives us clarity, gives us an opportunity to tap into a part of us that we haven't necessarily explored yet or tweaked enough. And when we start to have a growth mindset, we can really start to feel very, very fulfilled. This and more coming up. Hi, I'm Trisha from Subconscious Food. And Subconscious Food is all about empowering you to live your most happy, fulfilled and abundant life. Today I'm talking about a bit of a buzzword, a growth mindset. Growth mindsets, it's just another word or another way to describe always looking for the opportunity for growth. Let's say, for example, you get into a really big argument with a colleague at work. I've had many clients talk to me about this. You know, you're always in the same room. You're always kind of interacting with similar energy, very similar behavior patterns, and sometimes things can tip over the edge. And you have an argument with a colleague that makes things at work quite tense, a bit uncomfortable, and you kind of don't want to go in. So it doesn't really put you in the right frame of mind when you wake up in the morning or the evening, whenever you start work. So what a growth mindset gives you the opportunity to do is just to take a quick pause. And I'll stop right now, thank you very much, and just give you an opportunity to have a look at why you got triggered. When we become triggered, usually it's because of something underlying. Usually the reason why we got triggered has not really that much to do with what triggered us, but rather an underlying unconscious belief or painful memory replaying itself in our subconscious. And when we react in that way, it is an indication to us that we have some emotional trauma that we need to work through so that we're able to grow. And when we get these little indications along the way, instead of beating ourselves up and instead of you, after the day that you had the argument with your colleague going home and telling yourself how stupid you were for making a fool out of yourself, how uncomfortable you feel, and all the forever apologies you're gonna need to make, the impact it will have on your career, the impact it will have on your relationships, you can pause, just pause for a moment. And instead of thinking about more negative things, I want you to reframe that situation and ask yourself this question. What is this situation teaching me? Let's say you had an argument with a colleague because they weren't picking up their end of the slack. They weren't in your group doing the work that they had to do in order for the work to be a success. What does this remind you of? When was the first time that you had to carry the burden of other people to make something work? What was your first memory of that? Write these things down. Don't be afraid of writing them down. When we start to face our fears and look them in the eye, instead of run away from them and bury them under the carpet, we start to bring the light into the dark. We start to bring the light into our shadow selves, in the parts of us that are deep, dark, and a little bit scary. So I want you to think about that. When was the first time you experienced having all that weight on your shoulders? And then I want you to use that narrative that you were telling yourself about yourself and to reframe it into the type of situation, the type of scene, the type of experience that you would rather experience. Write down how the opposite of your argument could have gone. 
I'll give you an example. The opposite of that is that you had a phenomenal day at work. Everyone pulled up their own socks, everyone got on with what they needed to do and as a result your team was rewarded for their hard work. You're going to see the two contrasts side by side. But what's going to happen now is your brain with repetition and emotion of this new scenario, the more it sees it, the more it feels it, the more it understands it, it's going to start to shift you from always seeing, thinking and believing that that is only possible to seeing, thinking, believing that actually there are lots of other possible ways that your day could have gone. And that's why a growth mindset allows you to tap into your potential. If we think about the word potential, potential is the potential for many different possibilities, for many different opportunities, for many different scenarios. And when we start to expand our awareness about all the different scenarios available to us, we start to realize that this is not the only way it could have gone. Where we focus our energy, energy flows. Here you can see that growth mindsets will set you free, will help you tap into your potential and live the life you've always dreamed of. I will put more on this subject, so do comment down below if you would like to learn a little bit more about how exactly and what the next steps are for you to tap into your potential. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, namaste. Bye.